Hey folks, this is Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center. Today we're going to talk to you about the 375 RES Solitude by Grand Design. Some really neat stuff on this. Let me uh, start with some of the things on the outside. The fact that we get these in, they're already generator prepped. So that way there, if you want to get a generator, we make it very simple for you to do it. Now when you over here on your service side, one thing's really nice about this door is it actually has a magnet to hold it open. So that way there it's not banging around in the wind and so forth. This is where your automatic leveling system will be. This is also your service center, which is very, very easy to use. And you have a whole house water filter system. The other nice thing they do is look at these little blue lights up underneath the slide out. Makes it nice for those times when you're out there camping. And maybe this is a little bit lower. Of course, I'm a little height deprived, so it won't, won't really bother me. But that way there, it makes it harder for you to hit your head on those. This thing has a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,500 pounds. You can see your storage. The doors, they have magnets to hold them up. Makes it nice. But look at all that storage in there. It makes it very, very nice. You have a sprayer port on this side as well as the other side, which makes it great for, you know, clean up and so forth. Look at these solid steps here you have. Makes it nice and sturdy, and they do have adjustable uh, legs on them. But take a look. This is what is really unique about the Solitude, is all of this storage space back here because they have lifted... Uh, the living room in the rear and so you've got all this pass through here you've got storage on on the sides but then in the back as you come around the back look at that that tray it pulls out it's a movable tray you can hang kayaks you see how they have the aluminum frame construction in here and so what you're able to do is you're able to go ahead and hang things in here that you normally would not be able to hang elsewhere so tons of exterior storage. Now, so that's some of the good stuff. So now let's go take a look at some of the, even the better stuff out here. Of course, you're gonna get your standard awning with the LED lighting, your outside stereo speakers, nice big uh, security light up there. But let's go on in and take a look on the inside and see what we've got here. So as you see, is when you come in the, in, in, inside here, first thing you're gonna come to this is going to be inside the cabinet, which makes it nice, keeps it out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. But this is your brain center, if you want to call it. But for your awning, your slide outs, your lighting, water heater, your tank heaters, check your, um, your uh, tank levels, start your generator if you had it, turn some lighting on right here. So you'll see this is an 18 cubic foot refrigerator. This is an RV type refrigerator. It, it does come with an option to get a residential refrigerator. I mean, but this is a lot of space in here. And what's a little bit different about this particular one is you actually have some air flow in here. And the other thing which people like is the fact that this does come with the, um, the ice maker. Some of you might be too young to remember these type of ice makers, but uh, it comes with two of them. So that is here in this 18 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. You can see you get the nice uh, big convection microwave. Notice the nice window space that you have there by the counter. It does have a curtain to pull down. Nice flush mounted three burner cooktop. And that's the large 21 inch um, oven there. So you can actually uh, use it. And of course, you know, you can see all the cabinet space you have down below counter space lighting you could set a TV here for the kitchen if you wanted to up above you have the cabinet space and of course you also have your this is the pantry here so as we're looking towards the uh, the rear part here this is where you're going to be coming up into your living area Notice they install a curtain. Most of these other ones that do this have a front living room, rear living room, do not do that yet, or I have not seen it. But look at all these windows. Uh, also, back, let me back up. Notice there's no uh, carpet on the steps themselves, but you do come up into the carpet in here. 
First thing you're going to notice is, of course, that nice big fireplace. The TV does, it's on one of those televators, so you can put it up and down. Uh, that way there you can use that window space if you wanted to. Nice sofas on either side. You have the theater seating there as well. And this has, of course, the, um, the lights. You have the um, massage and the heat and so forth on there. That's pretty cool though, isn't it? So, and of course, now both of these will, um, will go ahead and open to beds on either side. Look at all those windows and everything that you have up here. Lots, lots of space, lots of room to spread out and so forth. You're going to get this equipped with two air conditioning systems, two 15,000 BTUs, one here, one up in the bedroom. See, so you have the nice lighting up above in the kitchen area. Also, notice in the kitchen, you're going to have your freestanding dinette. And this has two um, portable chairs, so you can actually fold those chairs up and put them away if you wish. And notice how there's no legs up underneath here. It's just mounted to the wall itself, so you're not going to be bothering your, your feet, aren't going to be kicking the legs like you do in some others. Look at how tall these windows are also in the slide out. Brings in lots and lots of light. So now let's go take a look. We're going to go take a look up into the bedroom. Here's a beautiful thing in this. Again, no carpet on the stairs. Also, notice how we have a pocket door for the bathroom. Benefit with that is it's not in your way. This has the salad bowl for your sink. The beautiful thing about that is look at all that counter space that you gain because of that. And you get a larger sink. Of course, nice big shower with a shower surround and that Shower head is movable up and down, and look at all your, your storage and so forth there. You have a nice little cabinet back here where you can put some stuff. And, of course, places to hang things. And a lot of space for the toilet itself. So let's take a look in the bedroom here. Now, this bedroom, this is the king bed. But look at all the room you still have in this room with the king bed. Still tons of room. And, of course, you do have the air conditioner up here as well. See, now look at the headboard back there, the windows above it. The beautiful thing about that is that when you're sitting up in the bed, you're able to, you know, not bother with the window, and you're able to look directly across at the TV. You see you do have a, a dresser in here with some drawers. And here's a nice thing is they've separated the room for the washer and dryer. So this is where you put your washer dryer if you wish to. You know, the uh, in the past... You had a one big closet coming across here, but then, of course, you'd be fighting your clothes to get to the washer dryer. So that was the design. And you can see plenty of storage for shoes, clothes, and so forth in here for you. The other beautiful thing about Grand Design is how the bed gets up out of the way. You see how high that bed gets up there out of the way? Most others don't get up that high. But as you can see, as that pulls up, you get, it makes it easier for you to get in for storage. Got a nice little area here. You know, you can put your guns, your ammo, your jewelry, whatever you like to put there. And then it also has a little sit-down place for you. But that also doubles as storage. So they do a wonderful job with these things. And this, this is not heavy when you're putting it up or putting it down. You can see I was doing that just with one hand. So again, this is the 375 RES Solitude by Grand Design. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Uh, just please keep Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, in mind when you call, when you email. If you stop by, please do ask for me. And I'll uh, be glad to show you more of these or any other RV that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching, and we'll come back at you again soon.